Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a profile on Howard Gentry Jr., who is the uh, vice mayor for the uh, city of Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, uh, Howard Gentry Jr., let me welcome you, uh, Mr. Gentry, to uh, this uh, show this morning and to uh, say that we're delighted to have you, but uh, you've been with us so many, many more other times. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you were with us long before you became involved in uh, politics. Right. Uh, you, when you were uh, doing small things in a real sense at Tennessee State University, right. and then you went and became involved in the athletic program and on. So let's uh, start talking about uh, some of the things that you've been involved in and some of the things that not only are you involved in in terms of politics, but some of the other social uh, things that you wish to see happen and some of the other things that you're doing. In order to do that, let's have you to give our audience sort of a, 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 an overview of uh, your background and some of the things that you've been involved in that eventually led you to the uh, my, uh, vice mayor position in Nashville, and then we'll talk about other things, including uh, your candidacy for the uh, mayor of uh, the city of Nashville. Well, uh, thank you, and again, I'm, I'm happy to be on your show, mm -hmm. and I have been here numerous times, and it's always a joy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just an honor that you'd ask mm -hmm. me. Uh, I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and, and uh, very fortunate to be able to grow up on the campus of Tennessee State University. My parents were both employed there. My mother was an instructor and my father uh, was an instructor, head coach, then athletics director. Mm -hmm. And so my life uh, as a young kid all the way up through mm -hmm. my adult years has been associated mm -hmm. with Tennessee State University. But it's also been a life that has been um, associated with Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have grown up with Nashville mm -hmm. and we've come a long way. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. There was a time in Nashville that that it was a little tough for mm -hmm. a guy that looked like me, but mm -hmm. um, uh, Nashville has changed. Good. Times mm -hmm. have changed and I've, I've been blessed and, and fortunate to uh, be able to rise to the level mm -hmm. of vice mayor. I was educated in Nashville. Mm -hmm. I went through the public school systems. Mm -hmm. uh, went to Pearl High School. Very proud of Mm -hmm. of uh, attending Pearl High School, Washington Junior High. Mm -hmm. And um, I was able during those years to really get a quality mm -hmm. education totally, mm -hmm. not just math, science, English, mm -hmm. and history, but uh, also get a, an opportunity to be mentored mm -hmm. by uh, great leaders, great teachers uh, within this community. So. Uh, I've, I've been blessed uh, over my 54 years here in Nashville, and I'm still being blessed. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, you know, uh, I understand that uh, you have uh, some ambitions uh, toward being the mayor of the uh, city of Nashville. And uh, your candidacy, I also understand, was announced uh, a couple of months ago. Why don't you say something about uh, coming to a decision in reference to uh, how, why you would want to be the uh, mayor of the city of Nashville. Well, you know, you never know what life uh, is going to uh, have in store for you. Mm -hmm. And that is why I guess my dad and my mother always told me to be, be prepared mm -hmm. for whatever uh, comes your way. And that's why education was so important in my home mm -hmm. and, and why experiences uh, were very important. I was always uh, politically involved. Mm -hmm and politically aware because my mother was involved and friends around us and we worked in campaigns over my entire mm -hmm. lifetime uh, really not knowing that I was going to get involved personally mm -hmm. in uh, the political side as a politician mm -hmm. as an elected official mm -hmm. but then again I have been in jobs my entire life mm -hmm. where where leadership was necessary, mm -hmm. uh, jobs that uh, dealt with the community mm -hmm. from my banking years mm -hmm. uh, to uh, being an insurance agency agent even and, and uh, running an insurance agency mm -hmm. and also being a car salesman. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time <laughs> mm -hmm. that those three years mm -hmm. as a car salesman yeah, yeah. taught me more than you can ever mm -hmm. imagine. You talk about that all the time. Yeah, that was the first mm -hmm. day. And you know, some people politically say, <laughs> maybe you need to keep car salesmen off your resume. Mm -hmm. No, they mm -hmm. don't understand mm -hmm. that that was a crossroad mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. And I took on a job after being president of an insurance agency mm -hmm as a car salesman and that's the first time in my life that I was really dependent upon my uh, uh, 
my own abilities. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you didn't sell cars, you didn't get paid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Being the president of an insurance agency, <laughs> you always had that salary. Mm -hmm. But in the car business, I didn't. Mm -hmm. And so I had to develop a skill to mm -hmm. be able to convince somebody to buy mm -hmm. my product because everybody else was selling too. Mm -hmm. And also I had to understand uh, the whole process. Mm -hmm. And that was a time in my life where, where really uh, I stood on my own two feet mm -hmm. and, and uh, my production was uh, the sole source of, of me eating and my family eating mm -hmm. and it was a great experience. Okay, Mayor, let's, let's take this uh, first commercial break after which we come, time will come back and we'll give you an opportunity to continue this conversation. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. We're talking to Vice